Now, I don't need to only import export parts, um, complete parts, family parts, or anything like that. Let's look at these holes. Say I have a safe process for that. So I'm gonna come, we'll do import. I'm gonna go to my feature folder where I have all my operation libraries that I customize. I'll go to steel and I have my 3816's tapping routine. We'll bring in our chamfer drill and our pec tap, rigid tapping, I'm going to select them all, import them in. Awesome. Again, we're going to see that it brings in the tools needed. We just have to apply geometry. So let's make sure don't have anything crazy coming in. There's the first holes. I'll reach in that. It's spotted. I'm going to take this geometry, copy it down, pack drill, reach in that. It's drilled. We'll take this geometry, copy it down to the tapping, regenerate the tapping, and we now have everything spotted and drilled in a matter of seconds. So let's talk about some benefits of this. Uh, we're not reinventing the wheel with every start of a new part. Uh, we're going to have more consistent first parts. So you know, more faith in your operators as well. And we're going to have a lot less time programming. Um, in a previous life of mine, that was one programmer for 30 machines. I had to get very efficient at at programming. So I saved a lot of routines or family of parts so I could get through that super fast. So hopefully this is going to help you be more productive at work. Um, so thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and we can open it up for questions. And thank you again.